Greece's willingness or ability to stick to previous austerity deals is looking shakier by the day, meaning it's not just the press talking about it having to leave the Eurozone, but now, for the first time, the European Central Bank's governing council. And as Eurozone finance ministers meet in Brussels, fellow members are warning Greece it could be heading for the door. But there's no provision in European Union treaties for any country to quit the single currency, so Greece would actually have to withdraw from the EU or be kicked out. If Greece did leave the euro, it would introduce a new currency, probably the new drachma. Everyone is going to queue up, of course, in front of the banks anywhere to try and see whether their deposits are at all safe. Uh, but in reality, unless the capital markets were controlled, we see a substantial fall in the value of the drachma, which really would mean that people's savings would be wiped out, banks would be bankrupt. The currency could devalue by more than 50%, hitting anyone with loans or mortgages in euros. What does it actually mean? It means that um, people's, if you like, um, liabilities, which may still be in euros in a number of areas, particularly sort of companies that have borrowed in euros and individuals who borrowed in euros and diverse things from abroad, would find themselves having to pay an awful lot more. So the burden is going to be enormous. Greece would also have to act to stop money leaving the country. Well, the reality is we're going to have quite a lot of euro notes still being around, of course, because in the run-up to any exit from the euro, people will have guessed anywhere what's going to happen. So uh, they would either have been already around on the banks or they would have kept all their euros under the, the mattress. And in fact, a number of them will have been trying to take them uh, physically out of the country. So you'd have to impose immediate capital controls. It may be too late. One half of the key Eurozone duo, France, has a new president who wants growth written into the deficit treaty. The other, Germany, has a chancellor whose party has taken a beating in regional elections over its insistence on austerity. When the pair meet on Tuesday, the whole of Europe will be holding its breath. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.